Jaya 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 Prabhupada 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 Jaya Prabhupada Shila Prabhupada Ki Jaya Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Shimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nivrasesa Sunyavari Pastyatya De Satarine Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare The last session on Chila Prabhupada your founder Acharya, a 10 lesson um, presentation on life, mood, mission, uh, and relationship with Srila Prabhupada. So um, for those of you who haven't been here, this, this presentation is very much interactive and uh, it's all presented in the form of slides. So we will continue. And this is the last session. It's called Your Srila Prabhupada. So for those of you who are just coming in, be ready to be put on the spot. <laughs> in the sense that we'll ask you to speak or say something or read. So I'm going to ask you to read and I'm going to ask you questions. And we're going to get things moving by that format. So... Um, that's a nice picture, right? Prabhupada's very simple. What did, what mood is what what mood is he exhibiting there? Joy, yeah, joy. Good. Anything else? Huh? We're very friendly, yeah, very joyful. Humility. Childlike nature, glowing, bliss, maybe an element of surprise. <laughs> Be careful not to put your backs directly to the deities. If you're going to sit, sit on an angle. Yeah. And we got so much room up in the front, so come on up. We're all vegetarians. <laughs> Come on up. There's so much room. You can sit in, in any area up in here. We got a lot of room. You have to see me and the slide program simultaneously. No, don't open that door. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Anybody have a favorite picture of Prabhupada that they can think of? Well, I, I ran into Prabhupada Fifth Avenue in New York. I had no idea who he was. But that stuck in my mind. Mm. You didn't run into him, did you? Oh, no. But uh, it was a uh, cold, windy, blustery kind of day. And the way he was dressed, I was worried he might get sick. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so. This one is your Srila Prabhupada. This is all very intimate. Standard understandings of Srila Prabhupada. Where's this picture? Who knows? Where's this picture at? Hmm? Where? We have a, he's sitting under a tree. He's giving the famous... It was a book printed about these lectures later on. 1972, this is. Nuvrindavan, famous on the hill, Bhagavad Dharma Discourses. Srila Prabhupada. That was during the John Masami Festival. Okay. These are some of the standard understandings as Iskand's Founder Acharya. We, we discussed what is a Founder Acharya. 
what are the symptoms of founder vacharya what are the qualities of the founder vacharya what are the accomplishments of Srila Prabhupada as a founder acharya the word is a hybrid founder means one who originates something and acharya is one who teaches by example so he is the foundational and initiator of our ISKCON movement there are many acharyas but there are very few founder acharyas okay what else is Prabhupada Someone read. We heard about that earlier, how he was empowered to do this work, even for before he appeared. His empowerment is um, shown by his example, but uh, no one can do this work unless one is empowered. Jagat Guru means one who is the guru for the entire universe. Jagat means universe. So he's qualified to make disciples everywhere in the universe. And one has to be empowered to spread Krishna consciousness. Okay. Another qualification, quality of Prabhupada, he was. What does Stichasiddha mean? Eternally liberated. They come to this world not out of karma, but out of a mission to act on behalf. Shaktivesh avatar. Empowered to do a particular work. Yeah. Situated on the topmost platform of pure devotional service to Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. Not only pure devotional service, but to the highest form of pure devotional service, the mood of Brindavan. Okay. What else is Prabhupada? Foundational means anyone, all the other spiritual masters, get their direction, guidance, teachings, everything from Prabhupada. He as the building is as strong as the foundation. So he's a strong foundation. If we build on the foundation, then whatever we build will be strong also. In other words, if we stay connected to Prabhupada, we have a strong foundation in Krishna consciousness. And then when the winds of Maya blow, what happens? Nothing. But if there's no foundation, the wind, even like a small breeze can knock you over. You're connected. Just like, what did they build buildings nowadays called hurricane proof buildings? Where you, winds can go 125 miles an hour and the building can still be in place. Of course, that's a small wind. But therefore, when the winds of Maya come, if we're connected to Prabhupada in a very direct way through his teachings and through his practice, then. Uh, won't go away, or we won't be deviated in our service to Prabhupada. He, he's our foundation for everything. Okay. Read that one. July 28, 1970. Uh, this was when the GBC. Okay, I'll give you the significance here. Let's see. One moment. here because I got so much information. Director of Management International Cyber for Krishna Founder Charlie His Divine Grace. <laughs> 
On July 28, 1970, Srila Prabhupada's name appears with founder title title on his director of management for his newly formed GBC. So this one was this was the newly formed GBC day, and then Prabhupada was initiated as the director of management for the GBC. As pro, I mean, in, ref in reference to Prabhupada. He, you know, he authorized or he authored direction of management, and he gave it to the GBC and he signed it, and that was the date. Mm -hmm. And the GBC had just been formed around that same time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When Iskand Press in Boston misprinted Prabhupada's name on a new book, he became deeply disturbed. The small paperback chapter of the second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam bore his name on the cover as simply A.C. Bhaktivedanta. Omitted was the customer, customary, his divine grace, as well as Swami Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada's name stood almost divested of all spiritual significance. Another Iskan press publication described Prabhupada as Acharya of Iskan, although Prabhupada had repeatedly emphasized that he was the founder of Acharya. There have been many Acharyas or spiritual masters, and there will be many more. But his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Prabhupada was the sole founder of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Unless that's clear, then someone could you, you try to ex us usurp this movement and claim that they are the actual Acharyas now. But as long as one keeps the founder Acharya, then his his direct rate, the principles that he taught it. So that was amendments for official documents, July 22nd, 1920, 1974. Yeah, same year. That's he pa he left us in November, so that was about July, August, September, October. Five months, five and a half months. His will, and believe me, if we didn't establish that. We wouldn't be sitting here today. <laughs> That's a fact because people have tried to claim his will as their own, especially his family members. They tried to claim the properties of Iskan as theirs because, you know, it was their father that started everything. So we had many court cases to clear that up. That's why Prabhupada was very intelligent, knowing all the to put in place. Just like he, 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 uh, what did he do? He separated the BBT from the society. That way, if people took issue with our society, or they tried to sue our society. He also established each temple as a separate entity. So if they wanted to sue the society, they had to sue each temple and not the whole society as a whole. He was very smart. That's what happened in the Turley case. They tried to get, you know, but because we were separately uh, documented, or what we say, I don't know the word. Incorporated, yeah, exactly. Uh, they couldn't touch us as a society. 
And Prabhupada was smart. He was he was legally smart. <laughs> he, he knew that there were people would try to get what he established afterwards, either family members or others, you know. And that happened before in the history of spiritual movements. So he put everything in place before he left. What's his mood there? Huh? <laughs> What's his mood there? Majesty. Majesty, that's nice. What else? Well, he is a fulgent, yeah. Maje very majestic, yeah. Huh? Grave. grave? Yeah, it's very grave. He's, He's looking up towards Krishna. You ever see Prabhupada? He always, always had his head up. It wasn't like... Unless he was in prayer. But when he would walk, he would always be... Head would be straight up, you know. Not looking down at the ground. He was a he was a very royal person. Yes, huh? He's thinking about something. Yeah, it's gravity. We got a lot of room up here. Please come up, and those who are up, or else we're going to crowd in the uh, the back area there. So there's plenty of room up here. You can sit right up in here or right over there. You can six, they sit next to Parma Rupa. He doesn't mind. <laughs> in fact, he likes company. His wife's gone. He said he needs some association. <laughs> yeah, just have a seat anywhere, but don't block the screen. <laughs> okay. Don't be shy. Everybody, just move up, move up, move up. That's it. Come on. If one person moves, everybody will move. That's it. Come on up. Come on up. Pandaji, come on up. All the pundits up front. Come on up! Come on! Move up! What's it going to take? We're going to have we're going to have problems. We're going to keep interrupting the thing just because people are not don't have room back there. Stick. You can't see anything from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to go over there. Unless you want to be the star, we can we can focus on you. And now you can. See. Yeah. All right, we're getting better. Still not good enough, but we're better. Okay. Here's an, here's one of Prabhupada's qualities. Fourteen times in twelve years. That's more than one time a year. Circling the globe. He went from Australia to New York, to London, Paris, to Fiji, so many places, to South Africa, Durban, Johannesburg, to Brazil, everywhere. At the age of 75, 76, 74, Major. We're going there now, I guess. <laughs> he said, go to the places I haven't gone. <laughs> okay. How did he do it? Yeah, but he he was very disciplined. He had a schedule. Every day he followed his schedule. 
never deviated from his schedule unless it was an emergency or had to. He was regulated. When he would come fly into an area, he would just, whatever time zone it was in, he would pick up his schedule at that time. He never had jet lag. He never knew what jet lag was. <laughs> I mean, never. And he, he was so determined to keep his schedule that when he was in Switzerland, there was a place called, I forgot, St. Helena. Helena. St. Helena. He called it St. Hell. <laughs> because it was covered over with snow. And Prabhupada wanted to go on his morning walk. And they were in a hotel. The devotees brought him up there because they thought it would be a nice place to get vacation for him. And it was just piled with snow. So he just went out and walked in the, co the corridor of the hotel as his morning walk. And in the corridor, they had one of these light switches where you push the button, the light comes on, and it's on a timer, and then it goes off. <laughs> so he's walking up and down the hall, and his, his servant is pushing the timer button every once in a while. <laughs> and his servant got tired, so he went back in the room, and Prabhupada used his cane to hit the button. <laughs> he always wanted his morning walk and his massage. He said, these, are, these kept me, gave, gave me ten extra years. Kept his health going. Okay. Yeah, he didn't focus on India. He focused on the world. He didn't see anyone as uh, what we say omitted from Lord Chaitanya's mercy. He tried to give the mercy to whoever would be willing to accept it. It didn't matter who you were, what your background was. If you showed a little interest, Prabhupada was there to increase it. Okay, so... Let's see what else we have. As Jagat Guru, world teacher. That's a nice picture. As Nitya Siddha Shaktavesh Avatar. Okay, we're going through the qualities of Prabhupada now. Hmm. So I'm going to read. Unless one is empowered by the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one cannot spread the holy names of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra throughout the world. Persons who do so are empowered, therefore they are sometimes called Veshavataras, or empowered incarnations, but they are endowed with the power of What strikes you about this per this particular photo? What is Prabhupada doing there? Playing the gong, yeah. What what strikes you about this statement in relationship to Prabhupada? So maybe it's a little hard to come up with an answer that I'm thinking of, but we'll just take whatever you can think of. What is amazing about this? Exalted, but what, what, even though he's so exalted, what other, what else is there? Hmm? Yeah, but something not about him, though. He's empowered by the Supreme Lord, but he's never focusing on himself. He's always he's always glorifying and talking about and serving and, and encouraging everyone. It's all about Krishna. It's not about me. <laughs> it's not about me. What's the 
Uh, it's pretty much the same. A Vaish means one who, therefore, Lord Chaitanya is also an Avesha avatar, one who, um, simply by their personal presence, they make others Krishna conscious. And the amazing thing is, he's a transparent via media. Although so qualified, still he's so transparent. That's the thing. So qualified and yet no no personal, nothing but himself. It's all about Krishna. When you get that much honor and you have that many qualifications and you're empowered, it's easy to become proud. To not become proud is very <laughs> difficult. Okay, what's that one? We keep hearing that word, foundational. Okay, so... Yeah. So everyone has a direct relationship with Prabhupada. Everyone who comes in, Prabhupada's available through his shiksha, through his instructions. When Prabhupada said, when Prabhupada was asked, how can we associate with you after you're gone? He said, read my books. I'm in my books. You can directly associate with me through my books. Or his lectures, same thing. That's direct. Should I tell you a story? You ready? Okay, personal story. Knowing this statement, I was trying to, I was reading one day, really reading for a long time, and when I was reading, I was no longer reading. Prabhupada was speaking the words from the pages and his voice was coming through. So it was no longer me reading, but his voice speaking the words, then I understood that statement that Prabhupada is in his books. <laughs> He's really in his books. <laughs> so when we absorb ourselves in hearing about Prabhupada, we can experience his presence very strongly. Hearing about him from him. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions about that? these uh, particular things. You can sit up if you feel you need to. Yeah. You can see from the sitting up. Well, how about a, would you like to sit over here? Oh, okay, good. This is what unites us rather than divides us. Try Shishi Radagopi Balava Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Maharani Gornitai Ki Jai. Okay. Tantaranta Tantaran. Dun, 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 dun. Is, that, is that Beethoven? No. No, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Srila Prabhupada's books. Somebody read. Ah, what is that? Okay, embodiment of his teachings. And? There's the standard. We don't create a new standard. Okay. Any questions? Is that to say they are on par with 
They are, yeah. They are the scriptures. <laughs> they are the actual scriptures. So Guru Puja. We come to Guru Puja. Now Prabhupada established that usually the Guru on his birthday or appearance day. But Prabhupada did something he he had his ship done every day so we could we could on his position as the founder acharya and as the guru of everybody not just his disciples he's not just the guru of his disciples he's a guru for everyone okay distinction made The purports are simply an extension of the translation. They're, they're the realizations of the, the, per, the, the verses. And they're given both by the previous Acharyas and by Srila Prabhupada, both. So they're foundational and they are the explanation of the verses. At least they're, they're, they're part of the explanations. If Prabhupada wanted to explain every verse in detail, the, you wouldn't have enough room to put the books. But he just gave a succinct understanding of the, the essence of the verses. Yeah. So if you want to focus on something within the purport, it's just an extension of the verse. Yeah. That's fine. So don't make a distinction, but see the connection. No. Yes. For no, for eternity. <laughs> There's no other founder acharya for our movement here. Yeah. So there is sometimes uh, a But there was, there was a there was a previous lesson was knowing the difference between a principle and a detail. Principles cannot be changed; details can be adjusted. To adjust a principle will cause havoc, and to not just never adjust anything is fanaticism. So you have to be able to adjust things according to time, place. And the, what is the qualification? Prabhupada was asked that. He said that requires intelligence. <laughs> so not everyone can do that. So in, in adjusting, it has to be according to time, place, and circumstance. And the example is Prabhupada adjusted what his spiritual master did in certain cases because of the difference between the preaching in India and preaching in the West. And the, the classic example is that he allowed women to live in the temple, go on to the altar, and have equal status with the men in every aspect of devotional life. Where in India that wasn't done. But he knew the Western culture and therefore he didn't want to interfere with the present Western culture, knowing it would cause so much havoc in the presentation of Krishna consciousness. And understanding the principle that a woman could also be fully Krishna conscious if she was given a chance, equal chance. Where you see in a lot of the tradition, that's not so much given. The women stay in the background. You know. But you see, some of our ladies in our movement now are really empowered to do things. They're doing amazing things. Because Prabhupada gave them the opportunity and the facility. Opportunity and the facility. So that's the difference. That's That's... 
an adjustable detail, but a principle is you must accept a guru. And who you accept is a detail. But you can't say, you can, I will not accept a guru. That's throwing out a principle. And you can't do that. So you have to know what is the difference between a detail and a principle and, ha and how to adjust the detail if it's required. So that takes intelligence. Yes. Definitely a detail. Yeah, it's a detail. Yeah, because they're medically necessary. Yeah, yeah, I understand your point. Yeah, we're not fanatic. To not be able to adjust, just like we used to never have chairs in the temples because you know the whole principle is everybody sits on the floor. But then again, that's fanaticism. <laughs> Some people need to sit on the chairs, and the idea is to give them Krishna conscious and not just put them on the floor. <laughs> so you have an option to sit on the chair. We're not the floor religion. <laughs> but some people like to sit on the floor. So that's, go, that's fine too. But there's, to say we should have no chairs in the temple, I mean that's, that used to go on, is fanaticism, because that's an adjustable detail. It takes intelligence. <laughs> That's what Prabhupada said. <laughs> but it, intelligence and sincerity, you, you, adjusting for the sake of adjusting is another form of fanaticism. They can if it's necessary, if they see the need, and then their the adjustment also has to be sanctioned. <clears throat> Prabhupada had nobody to really sanction his adjustments, but he was empowered, so he did it anyway, and he was criticized. He was criticized for giving sannyas to Westerners, he was criticized for allowing women to go into temples. Bhakti Siddhanta was criticized for driving a car to Radhakund. <laughs> there was only two cars in Calcutta at that time, the governor and Bhakti Siddhanta. <laughs> Hardly any cars. <laughs> but and he wore sewn clothing too, which was not done by sannyasis. So he 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 quoted Rupa Goswami's Verse Anashakta Vishayan Yaryajan Upayunjate near Bandai Krishna Sambandi Yukta Yukta Vairagya Uchyate that renunciation is not simply giving something up but using something in the service of the Lord. That's real renunciation. It's like Prabhupada said, there was one guru, if you give him money you'd say, Oh no no, I cannot touch money, that's material. Prabhupada said, you give me money, I take it and I give it to Krishna. I use it for Krishna's service. That's renunciation. So, the principle is to know the difference between, the, 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 the idea is to know the difference between what is the principle and what is the detail. And how to adjust if it's necessary. <laughs> And as time goes on, things will necessarily be needed to be adjusted. Because the social climate changes, and the modes of preaching may also adjust according to the social climate. Okay. There's the key. It's not, we follow our spiritual master, but he should go towards problem. Okay, any questions? Okay.
connect which which Prabhupada do you want? <laughs> you got you got your choice. There's sadhana connections, there's seva connections. Connect with your Shiva Prabhupada. Okay. Who likes, who like, I'm going to really put you on a spot. Who likes this picture the best? <laughs> you like the kitchen one? It's it's unique because you don't see that one so often. That's Prabhupada in New Taliban, August August 1975, Taliban, uh, Mississippi. This is in London, Bury Place. This I don't know. This is Malati here. This is Hippie Hill, when Prabhupada first started the movement in 1967 in San Francisco area. Prabhupada doing his books. Which Prabhupada? You got different moods of Prabhupada here. Okay. Who's that guy? Okay. What does it say? So, sometimes you want to jump over to the previous acharya and neglecting the present acharya. No jumping. Because the, present, the previous acharya may be preaching a little different according to time, place, and circumstance. And Prabhupada said about his spiritual master, it's very difficult to understand him. So if you want Bhakti Siddhanta, you get it from me. But he did say we could read Bhakti Vinoda course books because he said they're very much understandable by the Western mind. Because Bhakti Vinoda Kaur did write for the Western mentality, a lot of his books. Whereas Bhakti Siddhanta was very elevated in his presentations of the philosophy and his erudition was very, very you need a dictionary to follow Bhakti Siddhanta. Okay, no jumping over, please. So this comes up again. We read this earlier. How one should carefully ex understand what is the pr what is a guru and learn my what is my relationship with the guru and then work in that relationship at least for a year before one takes formal initiation minimum one year and therefore the guru also should carefully observe the nature and qualities of the disciple and see if the, how serious they are and guide the disciple along and then after one year of if everything is in place then initiation could happen nowadays we have somehow extended that one year where people are aspiring sometimes two years five years I met a girl who was aspiring for 11 years you know yeah so you know you it, there's no hurry but there is a hurry Life is short, and therefore, to accept a spiritual master means we will have an initiation ceremony coming up later on this evening, and we'll explain that, as Prabhupada said, initiation means, what's the word? Beginning. It's, 
we're practicing to begin. When we get initiation, we actually begin the path of bhakti. And before then, we're getting the feel, just like when you when you're near a big puddle, a big pool of water, you might kind of like put your feet in it and slosh it around, throw some water on you. You're not really jumping in and swimming. You're getting a feel of the water, see if it's not too cold. And finally, when you're convinced, you go for it. So initiation is the stage where you have been practiced enough and you're convinced that this is where, this is where you want. And this Hari Bhakti Vilas was written by Sanatana Goswami and Sanatana Goswami received is mostly for grihastas. So if you can get books on the Hari Bhakti Vilas, you can find the principles of what it means to practice Krishna consciousness in the grihastha ashram, like that. Okay, any questions? No jumping over, no jumping into. Okay. And again, no jumping into. Okay, establishing a relationship with your spiritual master means first establishing a relationship with Prabhupada. So before you, before you take a guru, you should have a sufficient understanding of Prabhupada, who he is, what he's teaching, and how you can practice what he's teaching, like that. Then you can accept someone who's in the line from Srila Prabhupada. That's basically what it says. Any questions? Yes. It seems to me that would be both by worshiping him and by studying his writings. Yeah, both. Worship brings the mercy. Studying brings the knowledge. Mm -hmm. When you worship, you get the mercy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Smiling Prabhupada with this orange shawl there. Okay. We have something to to rally around is Srila Prabhupada. If we rally around only our own spiritual master, our own temple, we can cause divisions within our society. And it does, it naturally does. <coughs> Keeping Prabhupada as the center of everything creates bondage amongst all of us, although we have we're, we're so different, both in culture and in background. <laughs> Yeah, his Vani, all teachers in ISKCON should always teach whoever they're teaching, take shelter of Prabhupada. Just like even if you have a spiritual master and he sometimes fall, he may fall down, doesn't mean you, you're, you're at any loss. You can take shelter of Prabhupada and still be connected to the Parampara and be in good standing. <laughs> When your spiritual master goes, also you connect. You can be more more connected to your spiritual master by strengthening your connection with Srila Prabhupada.
Mm. So much benefit keeping Prabhupada in the center. Yeah, there's a lot to be realized yet. We're just touching the surface. The more we read, the more you read, the more you understand. It's unlimited because this knowledge is what? It's transcendental, therefore it's not limited. So each time you read, you actually get more from what you read because you are, at the same time, Becoming more purified each time you read, and at the same time you are able to see more which the, what's it, what's in the words. That's the difference between material knowledge and spiritual knowledge. Material knowledge is you can get it, you can understand it up to a point, and that's it. But spiritual knowledge is unlimited. There's so many meanings to what is being. Yes. Yeah, that's that's called vigyan. Vigyan means application of the knowledge. In fact, unless you put it into practice, you can't understand it fully. Just like you go to school and you learn a, a trade, but until you actually practice it, you don't really develop in that trade. And you can forget it if you don't practice it. Mm -hmm. Just like a musician. You want to be a good musician, you got to keep practicing more and more and more, and you become better and better. Any questions? His books will remain central. How many of you are reading Prabhupada's books every day? At least you're honest. <laughs> How many of you are connecting with Srila Prabhupada in one form or another every day? Well, that's a little better. You're not? No? No? Okay, okay. That's better. <laughs> Something. Reading his books, hearing his lectures, associating with his devotees. Some connection. But what we're talking, we should bring it down to, okay, I can't read, but at least I can hear. Practical example, you're taking lunch, turn on the tape. Taking breakfast, turn on the tape. You're going to sleep at night, you can't sleep, turn on the tape, <laughs> you'll go to sleep. <laughs> usually, we usually sleep in class most of the time, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, if you listen to Prabhupada before you're going to sleep, you know, even if you can't sleep, you'll definitely just gradually go out. So, yeah. Play Prabhupada's bhajans, and just... Purify, it purifies the whole atmosphere. Is, you know how powerful Prabhupada is? I'll give you an example. It'll take a while. But <laughs> <laughs> how powerful Prabhupada is? I'll give you an example. Okay, the deities are going to open. If you have your backs... Slightly turn to the angle side there. Okay. Dai Sri Sri Gornitai Jagannath Baladev Subharani Sri Sri Radha Kunjabi Hari Ji Ki Jai. You want to hear an example of Prabhupada's power? Okay. Ready? Now you're all. Anyway, here we go. Prabhupada's power, for those of you who are interested. Here it is. One girl, no, I don't know if it was a girl or, or devoted, which body it was, male or female. They were being attacked by a ghost, and they said, Help! And the ghost kept coming. And they said, Nishringadev, help! Ghost kept coming. They said, Prabhupada, help! Ghost was gone. <laughs> 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 
true story, really. Yeah. Prabhupada's powerful. He had to leave. He had, couldn't do anything. A ghost? Ghost can cause a lot of problems, yeah. They can strangle you. They can choke, choke out. They take out, they try to choke out your life airs. And they get into your mind and try to inhabit your body. You see people every day that are ghostly haunted. Just use some dynamite, you'll get through. <laughs> <laughs> Just a f <laughs> That's all I'll take. <laughs> all right, Krishna. But Prabhupada's so powerful that if you want to, if you, if you worship Krishna without worshiping Prabhupada, you won't get much, hardly anything. If you worship Prabhupada without worshiping Krishna, you get everything. <laughs> Because Krishna is more, he'll give himself to you just by your worship of Prabhupada. Yes, this is this is actually uh, the fact. That's true. We should we can't approach Krishna directly, but we can approach Krishna through his representative. That's the philosophy, that's the, that's the teachings, that's the practice, yeah. If you want to approach Krishna, you need the mercy of his, his pure devotee. Huh? Well, Prabhupada's making it accessible, but he teaches us how to approach the Lord. There's a way to approach the Lord. But without his mercy, you can't do anything. In other words, if you come into this temple and you neglect Prabhupada and you go right to the deities, you're not going to get anything. Because Krishna is saying, you're passing my great devotee and you're coming right to me. I'm not interested in you. <laughs> Krishna is more inclined to give his, his self to those who worship his devotee than those who worship him, especially someone like Prabhupada. So if you want the mercy of Krishna, you have to get, you have to somehow or other understand that Krishna really loves Prabhupada. So much so that if you want anything from Krishna, you can get it by, you know, glorifying Prabhupada, taking shelter of Prabhupada, appreciating Prabhupada. That's natural. A father is more inclined to a person who loves his son than he is one who loves him, because his son is dear to him. So in the same way, yeah. That's actually similar to the uh, call of the saints in the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Yeah, that, that principle is there in all traditions, but especially in ours. You want to hear another story about Prabhupada? I just heard this recently. One very, very powerful book distributor, one of the biggest book distributors in our movement from Russia. He was alone walking in the forest. He saw this strange object in the forest. It was a vehicle. And he came close to it. The doors opened and there were some strange beings in it. It was a, it was a vehicle from outer space. It was some aliens. They invited him in. And he came in. And he was just there and they were there. And then he saw in the vehicle, there's a picture of Prabhupada. And he said, do you know who that is? And they said, do you know who that is? <laughs> so Prabhupada's not a small person. <laughs> you can meet that de de devotee. He'll tell the story, yeah. That's a good story. Okay, we're almost, we're getting to the end here. Okay. We can learn, we can see pro the predecessor acharyas through the lens of Srila Prabhupada. Okay. 
All glories to our beloved founder, Acharya Shila. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram 